Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Italy. Doomsday film title. The last cinema in Rome, Indiana, the heart of Rome, nestled between the bustling streets of Trastevere, stood an old cinema named Cine Nostalgia. Its faded marquee flickered with the titles of classic films, but lately, it had become known for something far more peculiar, a series of doomsday films that drew in crowds from all corners of the city. The owner, a passionate cinephile named Marco, had a vision to explore the human psyche through the lens of catastrophe. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting golden rays over the ancient cobblestones, Marco prepared for the evening screening. The film of the night was a little-known Italian classic, Il Giorno del Giudizio, a haunting tale of a world on the brink of collapse. The audience, a mix of curious locals and tourists, settled into their seats, popcorn in hand, unaware of the deeper currents that had driven them to this moment. In the weeks leading up to the screenings, the world outside had been turbulent. Climate change had wreaked havoc across Europe, causing devastating floods and wildfires. Political unrest simmered beneath the surface, and whispers of economic instability filled the air. The news was relentless, a cacophony of doom that seemed to echo the plots of the very films Marco showcased. As the film began, the flickering images on the screen mirrored the fears that had taken root in the hearts of the audience. They watched as cities crumbled, communities fractured, and humanity grappled with its own mortality. Yet, amidst the despair, there was a sense of catharsis. Laughter erupted in moments of dark humor, and gasps filled the theater during tense scenes. Marco observed the crowd, realizing that the doomsday films were more than mere entertainment. They were a reflection of the collective anxiety gripping the nation. After the screening, Marco invited the audience to stay for a discussion. The room buzzed with energy as people shared their thoughts and feelings. A young woman named Sophia stood up, her voice trembling with emotion. I feel like we're living in a doomsday film every day, she confessed. But watching these movies makes me realize we're not alone in our fears. It's like we're all in this together. An elderly man chimed in. These films remind us of what we stand to lose. They challenge us to think about our choices and the future we want to create. They're a call to action. As the conversation deepened, Marco felt a spark of hope. The doomsday films, often dismissed as mere entertainment, had opened a dialogue about the very real issues facing Italy and the world. They had become a mirror reflecting society's anxieties, but also a canvas for resilience, community, in action. In the weeks that followed, the screenings at Cine Nostalgia evolved into a movement. Marco organized workshops, inviting environmentalists, political activists, and artists to engage the audience in discussions about climate change, social justice, and the power of collective action. The cinema transformed from a place of escapism into a hub of inspiration and activism. As the seasons changed and the leaves fell from the ancient trees of Rome, the doomsday films continued to draw crowds, but now they were accompanied by a sense of purpose. The audience left the theater not just entertained, but empowered to confront the challenges of their time. Through the lens of doomsday, Marco had uncovered a deeper truth, that even in the face of despair, there is always the possibility of hope, connection, and change. And in that small cinema in Rome, the stories of catastrophe became the catalyst for a brighter future, proving that sometimes the end is just the beginning.